Hackers attacked my PC like you by ransomware. The virus which asks for paying a lot of money to decrypt our files they encrypted. With a lot of researching and trying, I finally succeeded to remove this ransomware and I decrypted all my files. I already talked about it in some videos before and I got a lot of experience from helping and supporting thousands of people to fix their issues. So I made a special English version for all friends around the world. In these minutes, I'll tell you how to remove ransomware perfectly and how you could decrypt your files in the best way. Follow my instruction bit by bit carefully right now. Before anything, we'll make check for something before starting. If you already have made a restore point in your system, maybe you have an opportunity to restore some files. It depends on whether you made this for whole folders in your PC or just for partition C. Anyway, check it first. Install any program you installed recently, maybe cause this issue. Yes, if you have any weird program in your PC, you may check it from the control panel, especially the newest apps around that you hacked in. You have to remove it. If you can't, open save mode and try to remove it again. Finally, if you can't remove it anyway, install a new system and format partition C. Next, update your Windows. Finally, download the new version of file called NetFramework, so you won't face any problem with any app. We will talk about it right now. Let's go. First step. How to remove ransomware from your PC perfectly? You have many ways to do that, but you have to know that the next step to decrypting the file doesn't work without this step in advance. So, it's a very important step. And you have to know that installing new windows or formatting the hard disk doesn't work with this kind of virus. Except for removing the program maybe the cause of the ransomware, not the virus itself. You need to try some application to remove ransomware. Spy Hunter 5, Wipersoft, Anti Spyware, Malware Bytes, Msoft Kit, Bitdefender for ransomware, and Microsoft Ransomware Protection. And finally, do it manually if you can. You can try all of them. I made this by the way. The manual way is so hard, and you have several auto way. So I won't talk about it. The aim soft kit is the easiest one and totally free, but I don't trust it to remove all kinds of ransomware. Microsoft ransomware protection, you may find this app not activated in Microsoft website. So I'll upload for you, the link is below. And if you have Windows 10, you have it in your system setting. Malware bytes may remove all crack you have and program you need. So be careful and choose what you want to remove and ignore what you need. You can use it totally interior. Wipersoft and Spy Hunter 5 after scan finishing will tell you that you have to pay now or wait for 48 hours to fix. In Bitdefender you need to scan in safe mode and have to pay for 4 version to remove ransomware. But for protection it's free. Finally, you will have a notification in any app you use telling you that your PC is clean now from ransomware. Next step, decrypt your file's instructions. Your encrypted file have different extensions, don't worry about it. You can make a test to make sure what's perfect app can decrypt your file's type. Comment below right now what's your extension code you have. So, after the process we will do together in a bit. The website will tell you what's the kind of your ransomware and what's the best decryptal tools have to use. In the link below, try with me step by step, and you may make a pause of the video and follow me. Up 
upload ransom mode. The text file that includes the ransom and payment information with the hackers had put it in each folder in your computer. It has a name underscore readme.txt. Then upload an encrypted file you have. Make sure that an encrypted file less than 8 megabytes in size. Optionally, enter email address or hyperlink the ransom gave you as contact information and text note you have. The website will give you a message include the best tool you have to decrypt your files with. Make sure you are online. I mean you have to be connected with the internet. When you use MSoft Decryptor, it doesn't work without an internet connection. If you are hacked by online key ransomware, you have to do the last step you can try. But how could you recognize online key and offline key? Look at the last line. You have a special ID. If the last two letters is T1, your key is offline key. If it's any letter, not T1, it's an online key. Tell me in the comment right now what you have online or offline ID. What you may try then? You have to compare two files. The link is below. Make sure that is the same file, encrypted file and the original one for the same file. Someone asked me, how can I get an encrypted file? You can get that by different ways. You may have an original file in an online drive or external hard or another device. Original file you sent before, by email for example. You had encrypted file you downloaded before, download it again. Finally, you can contact the ransom and ask them to decrypt just one file. And the reason you want to make sure that they still has your decryptor code. Anyway, time of fact. After that comparison, if your file were encrypted by old code, you will back all files from the same type. If you compare JPG file, you may able to decrypt all JPG files you have. And if you compare the comment file has .doc extension, you may able to decrypt all the comment file and so on. You have nothing to do after that if your file encrypted by new code. Just the website which could tell you if your file encrypted by old code or new code. Finally, protect yourself from the next ransomware. It's intelligent and dangerous. Culture of backup. Make backups for all important file or external hard you have. Make an online backups on any cloud. I suggest using many of them, like Microsoft OneDrive, Google Drive, iCloud. Those don't give you a big size, but it's important for daily work. You can try some free service like Mediafire, Mega Upload, Amazon Drive, Dropbox, Box, Bcloud, and Digo. Try all of them and don't forget to connect them by multi-cloud. It's an amazing website. Don't turn off Windows security at all. Cause the most ransomware hacked device when you were making a crack and so on. If you have to, make sure you set up an app from a trusted link and you had another protection. And if you had a backup, you have nothing to worry about. So it's the most important thing you have to do to be in a safe zone, have a backup. Active ransomware protection in your system. Active any antivirus software had ransomware protection or special anti-ransomware like MSoft Emergency Bitdefender or any software you have. Someone asked me if the ransom kept a copy of his file. And I said no. They are just decrypt your files only. Unfortunately nowadays there is some ransom began to keep a copy of files and threaten to be published if you will not pay a ransom. So protect yourself carefully and don't put any button or sensitive files on PC just on external hard disk or any secure drive online. Follow the instruction very well. Watch the video again and follow it bit by bit. 
You have all links you need in the description below. I'll be happy to reply on all comments. Please like, subscribe, and best wishes to resolve your issue. I thank you for all sharing it with your friends and community groups. See you.